Hi everyone, my name is Chris Padilla and you. <laughs> Well, yung music was always actually in the house. Yung papa ko. Well, he was a lawyer, pero ano siya? Sobrang hilig sa Beatles. Meron siyang banda dati. Actually, sila yung The Octaves, yung name ng banda nila. Eh, na in-adapt namin eventually. Sa church yata ako nag-start. Dati, nung umaatin kami ng mga... Ano well, yung mga churches before na may banda eh. Kapag, uh, di ba, may banda sa praise and worship, di ba? So, every time... Pinanunood ko yung banda. Hindi ako nakikinig doon sa... <laughs> Hinihintay ko mag-ano yung banda. Tapos, parang doon ko sort of una nasubukan. Makapag-jam. Tapos, mahilig nga yung airpads ko sa music. So, sinuportahan niya ako. Bili niya ako ng gitara. So, from there, tinuruan niya rin ako. Tapos yun na, sobrang nakahiligaw ko na. From that point forward. Until nung teenager ako, doon ako mas naging ano, into music mas ano kumbaga parang mas nagkaroon ako ng deeper I don't know parang relationship with music parang gano sana ikaw pa rin um, I guess it's a simple I'd say love song pero more siguro when I was writing that song mas more on expression parang not really singing about anyone in particular but I don't know hindi ko hindi ko rin ba describe eh. parang it's definitely a rock song an honest one at that. <laughs> Since the start of the pandemic, yes, so, parang kapag nagkaroon ka ng, parang nagkaroon ako ng sort of more time to reflect. So, minsan, may isip mo yung mga regrets. Minsan, may isip mo yung what could have been. Alam mo yun, what should have been. Alam mo yun, parang gano'n. Kaya nga may ano, kaya, I guess, kaya kailangan mong somehow, uh, isulat yung mga ganun pakiramdam. So, minsan hindi mo naman siya talaga nararamdaman as like, ano, pero lumalabas na lang yung subconscious. Man, masyado ako man. Parang ang lalim, ang lulod na ako. So, parang yung subconscious thing na hindi mo iniisip. Pero pag sinulat mo, lumalabas yung message. Something like that. Parang ganun lang. Ah, oh, yung homestay. <clears throat> Kasi, well, yung homestay came from you stay home. <laughs> Kasi, Ayun ka pa rin. Kasi, bawal lumabas na, di ba? Palaging stay home, mm -hmm. stay home, stay home. Well, nagkataon na uh, yung aking mom, nagkaroon, nagkaroon siya ng homestay at one point. Tapos naisip ko rin na, mm, ganda rin yun na. So, very much, I guess, related to yung sitwasyon, what was happening two years ago, one year ago na hindi tayo makalabas sa mga bahay natin. And at the same time, yung homestay parang, you know, parang when you hear the word home, parang, parang ang sarap. Kasi nakakasawa na magiging dark. Eh. <laughs> parang ang sarap din maging home. Uh, what can my fans expect? Uh, siguro more music from me. Tapos more, uh, I guess, more shows and hopefully more experiences. Yun yung pinaka-excited ako about the actually. I don't have any idea what's gonna happen. Pero I'm enjoying the ride and very excited to work with the police. Siyempre, tapos, yeah, I guess ito af after sana ikaw pa rin expect the next five songs will be, I guess, unexpectedly different. Tapos, uh, Five more after that, five more after that, and five more after that. <laughs> so, parang nakaka-excite lang kasi I can't wait for you guys to hear what I have. Hi, my name is Chris Padilla, and my song, Sana Ikaw Pa Rin, is out now on all digital platforms under Poly East Records. Hope you like it.